Good morning, evening, or afternoon. I don't know what time you're watching this, but welcome to my channel, Fat Taquito, and my friends call me Jelly. This is where we follow my daily journey of a ketogenic lifestyle. Lost 177 pounds so far, still got about 30 or so more to go. Um, so this is my Monday morning video, is when you will be seeing it, but it's going to cover Saturday and Sunday. On the weekends, I'm no longer putting out a video on Saturdays and Sundays, and I will just put Friday, Saturday, and Sunday all together on Monday morning. Um, so yeah, you get to see all of that at once. So I hope y'all enjoy. The rest of the time, I will be putting the videos up as normal. Um, and I'll explain why in this video. Also, I am in the middle of doing a fat, oh, I can't even say it. Every time I try to say it, I mess it up. So basically, it's <laughs> an egg fast, but it's a fat fast. Something like that. Yeah, tongue twister for me. Okay, it's 2 p.m. I am absolutely starving, so it's time for breakfast. I did have a collagen coffee about an hour ago. So this is a normal truffle on the bottom. That's just a scrambled egg, one scrambled egg thrown in the little grill. The um, pancake style one, I'm just gonna try it today. Um, I got my second one over here making. Yeah, I made a mess on my counter. But yeah, I'll show you what it looks like when it's completely done. Okay, while that finished cooking, I'm going to explain what I'm doing today. Um, one, I look like a mess. I still have makeup on from last night. Well, just the eyeliner. I don't know why it doesn't like to wash off. Um, yeah, and I did put mascara on. Of course, I always put mascara on. But it's Saturday. I don't wear makeup unless I'm going somewhere. And I'm supposed to be doing yard work. If it looks better outside soon, it looks like crap. Um, so it's about 2 o'clock. I am absolutely starving. Still cooking those things over there. I'm going to try egg fast again. I know egg fast never works for me, but I'm going to try it a little differently. I watched some videos today. I'm going to try his truffles in a few different ways. I'm going to try not to add any of the butter that people say use on the egg fast. Instead of using the butter, I'm going to use two ounces of cheese um, with three eggs. So that's why I'm having this morning. Two ounces of cheese and three eggs. So. I need to somehow down eight eggs a day to reach my protein. <sighs> so that's going to suck. But I'll figure it out. And I'll let y'all know how this thing's going to taste. So if I upload videos starting next weekend on Saturday and Sunday mornings, they will be very um, short videos. Because I am stressing myself out with my daughter because she can't have the internet at night. And she stays up on the weekends on Friday and Saturday nights. And if I upload which my videos take, a eight minute video takes two hours. A 30 minute video can take up to 12 hours. So then she can't be online past 9 p.m. at night and it drives her crazy. So I told her that on Fridays and Saturdays I won't upload anymore uh, unless they're very, very short. And then, um, I, so if I don't upload on Saturdays and Sundays, you will see my for all day Friday video and all my foods I eat on Saturday and Sunday and I will totally block it out in there and edit it just right so you know. So basically on Monday morning you'll get three whole days at once. Um, it won't be crazy long. It'll just mostly be me telling you quickly what I've done and what I've eaten. <coughs> and if I do like Sunday, if I ever do prep or cooking big meals on Sunday, I'll put that on a separate video um, so that um, the videos aren't crazy long. So that's why I might start doing because yeah, I'm having an upload issue. Um, but you'll definitely see videos Monday morning through Friday morning, 100%. Um, so just two days a week, I might take a little break and just edit it all together for um, Monday morning. Uh, but yeah, so I am absolutely starving. I'm about to go check those things and see if they're ready. Um, and I'll let you know how it goes because I usually like a slice of cheese on them and I usually like butter and I can't add any more cheese and I can't add the butter. So we'll see. And can I make it three days on an egg fast? I don't know. Okay, so this is how they came out. This last one had more egg than cheese in it, so it's more like egg. So <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to light these. They... I usually only use one egg when making them, um, 
So this one's a pure egg, and then I put two eggs inside them, and a half a cup of cheese. So it's not the recipe I like to go in, but this is the way I can try egg bash because I hate scrambled eggs, um, fried eggs. Like, I just don't like things plain. I can do a fried egg inside one of these. That's probably what I'll do for dinner, <sighs> but we'll see. Okay, to help me get through this three-day egg fast, which I don't know if I can last or not. I'm already sick of eggs and I've only had one meal. I'm making some old eggs right now. I used to have two of this one, but after only owning the other one for a month, it totally died on me. So, yeah, I'm not going to eat all these bold eggs. I would probably puke even if I stretched them for three days. Um, the set's mine and the top is mine and the bottom's for my dad. <laughs> so... Yeah, I don't need enough, but I'll make it through all those. <sighs> I'm not, cr I'm not really crazy about eggs. I'm, a, I'm an eat it in the morning person. So maybe these truffles will definitely help me get through it. Okay, so this is my dinner. It's six forty-two. There's one egg cooked in my two truffles and two ounces of cheese, and then I have two hard-boiled eggs here, so that's a total of three, and I did put half a tablespoon of mayo in the yellow and mix it all up, and some salt and pepper. I'm also having my second collagen coffee of the day. I also had a regular one earlier, and I've had water, and that's it. This is it, people. This is it. I'm not an egg fan, so... <laughs> Three days is going to be a long haul, but I ain't hungry. I can admit it now that I am not hungry. I was f first thing after I ate this morning, but I'm not hungry right now, but I don't want to eat much later, so I'm forcing myself to go ahead and eat. So, yeah. I, oh, also, hold on. I've been doing a lot of house cleaning. I'm a wreck looking, but also I started off my weight this morning at 194.2, I think it was. So... That's what we're going off. We'll see in three days what it ends up at. Um, so wish me luck. No amount, I have a headache from no Mountain Dew. I will tell you that right now. Without my diet Mountain Dew, I have a severe headache and had to take Motrin. Um, even though I'm drinking the coffee, for some reason when I go off sodas, and I know it's probably the aspartame and blah, blah, blah that I'm addicted to, and I'm having withdrawals, and it gives me a headache. But we will follow tomorrow's food as well. Um, like I said, you're probably seeing this Monday and it's Saturday right now for me. I'll add Sundays to this as well and you'll see it Monday morning. Good morning. I have just woken up. I look horrible. I am making my coffee right now. Um, so this is morning two of my egg fast. So it's Sunday morning. I started the egg fast Saturday morning. So yesterday, how did I make it through? I had three eggs for breakfast, two ounces of cheese, um, and I was good. And my collagen coffee sometime that morning. I had it hours before. Then I um, ended up having an another coffee which um, had heavy whipping cream in it. Only um, one, two, almost two tablespoons. Um, then for dinner, um, which I just I showed you all these, um, I had the Three more eggs, two more ounces of cheese, and a half a tablespoon of mayonnaise. Around 9.30 I got starving, I couldn't sleep or anything, plus I've been drinking tons of water. So I had to get back up um, and eat two more eggs. I took two boiled eggs and put a half a tablespoon or a tablespoon of mayonnaise somewhere in there. I just eyeballed it. Ate that and then I was fine. I woke up this morning. I know my blood sugar is normal. I can always tell when it's normal, but there's nothing I can do to really test it. And I have woken up the last three mornings with it in the 80s. My battery died on it. So, so I'll test it in the morning tomorrow. Um, plus throughout the day today. So, and I have a really bad taste in my mouth even though I've been brushing my teeth like crazy to get rid of it it reminds me when I first started keto I had this weird metally strange taste um and people used to call it keto breath but I didn't actually have a breath for it like no one could smell it I just have this weird taste going on so yeah it's weird um <clears throat> but um I'm not gonna tell you 
my weight results just yet. Um, you're gonna have to wait for Tuesday's video, and I'll tell you what it is each day, um, or at least the ending day. So I am, it is moving, I'll tell you that, the skull has moved, but I will also tell you, 4 o'clock in the morning, I'm sound asleep, and it's like, get up, run, now! <laughs> Oh my gosh, did I have to run to the bathroom? So, yeah. But I've been having issues not being able to go as I do on keto a lot. Um, and, yeah. So that was fun being half asleep and having to run. But I made it. So, <laughs> um, some people say they get diarrhea from the egg diet. Some people say it doesn't affect them at all. Um, <clears throat> So, let's talk about one thing, even though I look like crap, and I probably should have put makeup on first and brushed my hair, um, and yeah, washed off the mascara that didn't come off last night. So, Thomas DeLauri, who I like watching his stuff very much so, he's coming at keto from a scientific view, from a view of his wife having um, inflammation issues and different things, they come at keto a totally different way than some people do. Um, and when I came to keto, I had a CRP issue, a extremely bad one that could kill me at any moment because CRP is inflammation in your body. When it gets too high, it starts shutting down your organs and affecting them and give, can give you a massive heart attack, congestion, heart failure, all kind of stuff. So mine is normal now, thanks to keto. But the reason he doesn't do egg diets, he has a video out, y'all can go watch it, um, it's very scientific, so if you don't like that kind of stuff, I can dumb it down really small, is eggs have omega-3s and omega-6s in it. Omega-6s are really, really bad. Your body seems to grab hold of the omega-6s before the omega-3s. So even though your egg might have a lot of nutrition, it really doesn't, because it, it's so minute, you're not really absorbing it. Um, by the time it's done with the other stuff. So, two is if you put a whole bunch in your body when it comes to eggs, your antibodies start acting crazy and you can react to them and have the CRP build up um, in your body and you don't want that. Um, so that's why I'm not going longer than three days. I probably wouldn't even have done the three days if I had watched this video sooner, but I'm trying it and um, I might do a little different tonight. I might take some of the eggs away and add some beef because a beef and butter fat is the same thing as egg and cheese. So why not mix them all up? All you gotta do is get your macros right and you should be able to mix them just fine because you're doing a fat fest, fast, fat fast, fast. Oh my gosh, fat, <laughs> I give up. Anyways, you're trying to just eat mostly fat type foods. Um, that isn't going to have much carb in it and won't raise your blood sugars or insulins or anything like that. <clears throat> so in theory, this should work just fine. So, because I don't want to build all those antibodies because I already have trouble with eggs. I already have allergies and stuff. And eating three days and only that um, will build way too many up in my body and could raise my CRP. And that could be why. I've always told y'all. Every time I do an egg fast, I end up gaining weight on it, and that could be why. I could be gaining a lot of inflammation every time I do it. So, the first day went really well. Today, I'm pretty sure I'm going to do the beef at dinner. So, it'll be day two of a fat fast. Um, so, I'm not really going to call it egg fast, but we'll see. If I don't fill up to it, I might just stick with the eggs. <clears throat> so... And then day three would be the same. But yeah, I need some sleep. <clears throat> well, I need to wake up. It's laundry day. Sundays is normally the day I do laundry and I cook a big meal. It's pot roast day for my dad. Um, I don't eat roast, so it's gonna be really easy to cook it. And yeah, I have to cook it with potatoes. But I'll probably make some squash and zucchini for my daughter to go along with the pot roast. So y'all will get to see me cook that tonight. I've never used my the original Food Ninja, which is right here, because it's pretty new. I've never used this yet to make um, 
any kind of roast in it so oh my goodness so that's the third time I tried to record and it was naturally recording I was so worried about keeping focus on the camera that I totally lost it and did not have it recording anyways I will be making a roast tonight and it will be in this video so once again it is Sunday clean house cook day <sighs> Okay, it's 12.30. I'm going to have my first meal of the day. I did have a collagen coffee while well, I'm actually drinking it right now. And this is my breakfast. We're doing um, two eggs and two ounces of cheese. So I use one egg and two ounces of cheese to make the truffles and then one fried egg in the middle. I got lazy and decided to just throw it on my griddle thingy too and it worked. Okay. So this just came in. I got it off of Amazon. Um, and we're about to open it up. Hold on. Okay, so this is what came in today. This along with this stupid thing because I wash dishes by hand. I realize it's faster, more convenient, and cheaper than running a dishwasher. I haven't used my dishwasher in over two years. A lot of people might say, oh, that's crazy. I wish I had a dishwasher. No, you don't. You rinse them off, you stick them in. Then they may or may not come out clean. Uh, they take forever to dry, and by then you have a whole new load that needs to go in there. And they use tons of electricity and water bill. So yeah, no. But you use this to clean your silverware. So I'm really excited to try it because sometimes forks and knives, especially knives because I tend to cut myself every time I wash them, this should stop me from cutting myself. I also picked this up because it was on a dill. Um, if you're a Prime member, you get different deals every day to go through. So these are magnets. I'm going to open them up together. You really couldn't see in the picture, and it really didn't say exactly what all they were. But it's supposed to be keto magnets. I bought my parents some for their fridge. that doesn't really get used. But I bought some for my fridge for my daughter and stuff. So it gives you a list of proteins. It gives you a list of carbs. Um, they, yeah, um, those are bad carbs. I don't even know why rice and all that crap is on there. Maybe they're saying don't eat those. <laughs> I'm going to have to read this. Then they give you a list of fats. They give you a list of um, um, ones that, like, fats that are also protein. Um, fats that are also carbs, I guess. And then... <coughs> Okay, so basically you stay away from this section over here, and you'd be doing good. Like, I don't even know why breads, crackers, blah, blah, blah is on this list. Made for stupid people that want to eat some carbs? I don't know. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it comes with these little things. It comes with Wendy's. Order a small chili. It's a total of 16 carbs. Okay, it comes with 12 net carbs. That's kind of cool, but I would never be ordering any of this stuff because it's insane. Sane. Like, oh my gosh. So... A vanilla medium frosty is 75 net carbs. That's kind of, okay, Jack in the Box, Red Lobster, Chalupa, McDonald's, KFC, Starbucks, Subway's, Arby's, Burger King, Pizza Hut, Papa John's. Okay, instead of telling me what these things are, they should have gave me a list of how to order it properly and um, stay in the correct net carbs. I guess this is if you want to cheat because this is not seeming very keto friendly list to me. Okay, so fruits. They have listed six ounce of fresh apple with the skin. Um, total carbs 24, four fibers 20 net carbs. Oh, okay. So, in means stay away if you're doing keto because you're never supposed to eat it. S means you can eat it sometimes, like the berries and stuff. Now I get it, okay. So this one is the same. So if it doesn't have a mark like artichokes, then you can eat it, you just gotta measure it all out. So, okay, this is cooler, however, I would have preferred one that just had like what you can eat and what you can seldom eat but not the nevers I don't need to see the nevers I already know what that is but I guess you know I can show my kid and be like don't eat this it should have just been yes list not a no list too 
because these are really big. They'll take your whole fridge up. This is insane. But it was like $10. I thought it was kind of cool. And I grabbed it. This can help my kid because she drives me nuts when she asks me questions. Now she'll be able to see if it says in, stay away from. And then you can make your own list, which I am probably totally going to do that for some of the stuff I actually make. So, yeah. But these little cards, <laughs> I don't know. I totally would have made this different. I would have said, like, put on here, um, get a Big Mac without, you know, the bun and without the sauce because it has ketchup. Or, like, I don't know. I think it's really... I guess it's for low-carb people because none of this is something I would eat on keto. I mean, there's not, the only drink on here is the Cafe Americano, um, and that's what I already drink. But the rest of this stuff at Starbucks and everywhere, they are way too high. I don't even know why we are handing me something like this in a keto chart. I mean, this is not an option, in my opinion. And there is options in all these places that you can turn into keto-friendly. So these cards should have told you what your options are. This part is crap. So whoever made these, I uh, need to go back and reorganize the way they made it. Because it says it's for ketogenic people. Well, I know. If it has a bun, it's crap. You don't need to tell me that. You need to show me what I can order I know what I can order, but there's a lot of people who don't know. Like my daughter, would I was going to let her put these in her wallet, and then she could just look at it and be like, oh, let me have blah, blah, blah without the blah, blah, blah. But no, it didn't come that way. Instead, it's just going to show you all the really bad options to choose from. And when I mean bad options, I mean they're showing Arby's is you don't have any choices, and you really do. You can get the Arby sandwich um, without the bread, and some of the cheese on it, you can get that little nacho light cheese all over it. And then just eat it like that. Just the meat and the cheese. And it's really good. But yeah. No. Fell. 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 But I am really happy about this. No more cutting myself. No more having people yell at me. Why'd you cut yourself? Okay. And this is what it looks like on my fridge. I always have my air fryer thing up here for reference. It's really hard to remember what everything goes on. But I kind of put them in the order of things <coughs> that would be harder to remember. And we don't eat seafood, so that's at the bottom. We know beef and um, poultry and all that stuff is fine. So my daughter eats a lot of vegetables and some fruits. And I use some spices and cheeses. So, yeah, most of the stuff I know by heart, but my kid doesn't. So I thought this would be great so she could... Figure it out herself sometimes, because she gets mad when I don't know the answer right off the bat. So, I totally meant to record me preparing the roast and sauteing it and put in the Food Ninja, um, the original one. <laughs> um, but I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's done, because I got so distracted, I forgot. I'm also making some squash and zucchini in the oven. I wanted to record that too and forgot. Um, and then it wasn't big enough, so I'm having to cook the non-keto veggies on the stove. Um, so my daughter's having the keto veggies, and of course my dad's doing non. But that being said, I had my dinner. Um, did I record it? I think, I, yes, I did. Thank goodness. Because I'm so tired and was so hungry, I wasn't paying attention. Um, but I did record it, <laughs> so I'm going to show you real fast what I had for dinner. Okay, so this is going to be my dinner right now. It's 5 o'clock. It's got Gouda cheese on it, um, one ounce. Um, it's a hamburger patty and two of uh, the truffles. So it's got one egg, a total of three ounces of cheese, counting the Gouda and the hamburger. So if I'm hungry later, I will be having some more doubled eggs. Um, but yeah, so I'm basically sticking with eggs and cheese and then just throwing a little bit of hamburger meat in here too. Okay, so all these videos are just covering Saturday's meals and Sunday meals and I've been doing the fat fast. I was calling it egg fast, but I added beef to um, it tonight. 
so tomorrow I'm sticking with the same thing. I've always gained weight when I've done the egg fast, so we will see. This morning I didn't gain weight, so we'll see about tomorrow morning. It'll be the start of day three. Um, and then, I guess Tuesday morning, I will let y'all know what my weight is. Because I kind of want an end result of three days away. So, yeah, we'll discuss if it works or if I went up, sadly. We will see. Um, and if I do go up, I'll know why. And I'll explain all that. But... Yeah, it's Sundays is my clean house and do laundry day and do some real cooking for my family. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't do anything fun to record and stuff. So, and then Saturday has been really busy. That's why I've just started, decided to start not uploading on, I did upload this past Saturday morning. However, I'm starting this week. I will not be uploading a video on Saturday mornings or Sunday mornings because of my internet issue. Um, I need to start uploading by 9 p.m. just to make sure it's up by 6 or 7, sometimes 10 a.m., depending on my internet. Um, and when that's happening, you cannot use the internet at all. There, and our TV is internet. My lights in my house is ran off the internet. So I can't even turn my lights off because it's too laggy it's being drained too much by upload so um i have to make sure my lights are off by nine by the time i start uploading my lights better be off or they're not going off <laughs> and i'm sleeping with lights on so um yeah if i could everything in my house would be on internet and i would have the best internet in the whole entire world because i pay a fortune for the crappiest internet in the whole entire world but there's no one to compete out here so you're stuck with crap in the boonies so i decided on it's too much fighting on the weekends with it my daughter wants to stay up later she wants to play her games so i will record like i normally do all day friday um, I will record what I eat on Saturday and Sunday, and Monday morning's video will include my whole day of Friday, and all my foods for Saturday and Sunday, and I will make the videos make sense <laughs> so it's not confusing. So on Monday it might be a little longer because you're going to get three days worth of eating and some talking and some activity and yeah kind of excited at the end of the month is the international festival and i hope the weather weather is good the last couple of years it's rained and we couldn't go but i'm really excited because i'm finally at a weight that i will be able to walk it it's about a total of five plus miles walking um and a lot of things to do um the year before last a hurricane came through and brought a bunch of mosquitoes with that stupid um Zia, Zika, whatever virus in West Nile, so nobody really went to it because there were so many mosquitoes, no one wanted to catch it. So between the two things, everyone stayed home. So I'm hoping, knock on wood, that my daughter will be well, the weather will be good, there will be no crazy mosquitoes, and we can go and have fun because I'm small enough that I can walk it now and not fall because every time before, it was a nightmare. I still took my daughter in at 368 pounds, but I kept almost falling because I had nerve damage and couldn't stand for more than 10 minutes and I would have to lean on stuff or sit down and I couldn't breathe and it was just, yeah, not that much fun. But it was something I did every year with the friends I used to have and I wanted to keep doing it. Um, I have no friends here now, but used to, I had a big church group and a bunch of friends and I would go to Friday night coffee at Barnes and Noble for hours with them. I would go to national festivals with them. I, yeah. <laughs> and then I had met some other friends later on after, um, I didn't have those friends anymore and they all moved too. So everyone moves, unfortunately, when you live around the army base, um, everyone grows, changes, um, you end up by yourself and, and I haven't even tried to make any new friends in 12 years. I wouldn't even begin to know how. I did join a meetup group, um, called IF and I thought they were a keto group. 
um, but they're not at all. And you have to pay to go to the meetings because it provides food and it is anything but keto friendly. And so I can't even go to that. So yeah, I don't know how to make friends. Do y'all know how to make friends? Cause I don't like seriously. And the people I think I could get along with, when you see them advertising on Facebook groups that they need friends around here, well, they all have babies and they're all in their early 20s and they don't want to hang out with a 41-year-old woman who's got a 14-year-old kid and yeah, <laughs> they just don't. But the people I know in their 40s around here, um, well, I don't really know them, but I see them in the groups, they... I would have nothing in common with them at all. Not even a tiny bit. I guess I, I grew up responsibly, but I never grew up out of um, wanting to feel young and doing young things and dressing young and doing my hair young. And I don't know, they just want to be old and be grandmas and let their hair go gray, which is fine. They can do that. But yeah, they kind of insult you if you look too young. And they like, stuff that I don't like scrapbooking and stuff like that when I was heavy that was an okay thing to do because I couldn't do anything else um there were tons of stuff like that I used to do uh, but I kind of want people who actually want to do stuff like I would love to find a group to go walking with or hiking with or um I don't know I don't know I still need to find a weekend where I'm free for the day and take myself up and um take keto diamond out for lunch that's what i really want to do she's not that far from me and she's my age and i think we get along just fine miss keto diamond <laughs> um so yeah but it really sucks living somewhere where you don't have friends i usually go to the movies by myself i usually do everything by myself <laughs> for years now and I'm finally at a point where I'm like I don't want to do that anymore but anyone know how to find friends just let me know there is a church it's non-denominational which is weird for me because I've always been Southern Baptist but I don't always um agree with the doctrine I believe 100% in the Bible um I just sometimes churches put their own rules to certain things um, so the non-denominational church might be the way to go, um, but they're building it right now. So once it's finished being built, I'm going to check it out and maybe I can make friends going there. I mean, I grew up with the pastor. He used to come to my house all the time. Um, <laughs> I know the people, um, but I... They were always my sister's friends, so I just didn't really have many friends around here. But we shall see. And I'm running my mouth. But I will show y'all what the dinner looks like when it is done. Um, and everything is keto friendly that I'm cooking right now, except the potatoes. The potatoes are not keto friendly, but my dad will not eat roast without potatoes. Um, but yeah, I'm going to let y'all go. And... We're going to see if this egg fast works for me this time. And I did have to add some beef. And it was because I got so hungry yesterday. And it was also because after watching Thomas DeLowry's video, I did not want another day with that many eggs in it. Um, even though it's still a high amount of eggs, I didn't want 8 to 10 eggs again. So right now I'm sitting at, let's see, 1, 2, 3... I'm sitting at three eggs for the day so far right now. Yep. Okay. So we will talk in just a little bit. Got to check on that food. I turned the, the recorder off again. But I am trying really hard to stick to this. This is day two of my fat fest. Tomorrow is day three. We'll see what happens. Um, I don't think this video is very long. So remember this is clips from Saturday during the day and Sunday. All in one. It's not very big had a boring weekend. Not much to show or tell. Okay, so zucchini and squash in the oven for my daughter. Some carrots are fine too, and some roast. This is all keto friendly. And of course over here, some potatoes. I think I made too much, just saying. Cause I don't get to eat any cause I'm on a special diet. 
Okay, so usually, okay, the roast smell amazing, but I couldn't eat it because roast makes me throw up. It has since I was a small job. So being tempted by the yummy smells didn't matter because I just know how sick it makes me. So other than those potatoes, it was a perfectly keto-friendly meal. Um, even the gravy, which I did taste a small smoothing of the gravy on my tongue because there's no carbs in it. No, it's amazing. So what it is is three cups of the chicken broth that the roast was cooked in, plus the fat from the roast all drained into um, the pan. I threw it in a big giant pot and I added two or three tablespoons of xanthan gum. Everyone thinks it's flour. Everyone thinks it's real gravy. It's keto gravy. Xanthan gum is perfectly fine. <laughs> so um, it was a great meal. Everyone's chowing down and freaking out and thanking me for cooking it. But unfortunately, I couldn't eat it. If I wasn't on this diet, I probably would have ate some of the carrots just a little and I would have ate the gravy like on a hamburger or something. Um,